I got the best Michael Jordan build in NBA 2K23, and I'm telling you, this is gonna be game breaking for you, all right? Before we get into this banger, DF stand up! We in the building, y'all. Make sure y'all like up, make sure y'all subscribe, and make sure y'all turn on post notifications and leave a comment in the comment section. If you did not know, your boy have joined the DF clan. Shout out to the DF clan. Um, and we're just making a movement, chat. We're trying to take over the community and then change people's lives, chat, as we're trying to recruit people in that we feel like if you're a content creator and you have not got, you know, attention or you feel like you're being overlooked, DF is a home for you and that's what we want to do, all right? So if you want to know how to join DF, make sure you check out the video I joined DF in this channel and make sure you go to the videos and check that out and they definitely tell you why I joined DF, what our mission is about, and at the same time, how you can join DF as well too, all right? So we're going to go with the position shooting guard, right hand, number 23, all right? 66 205 611 defined them are the body settings that you want to go with this build it represents michael jordan as best way as we can all right now um i'm going to go into the stats i went with a 61 close shot i went to a driving layup of 72 driving dunk of 85 so you get contact dunks standing dunk of 37 post control at 90. the reason why i went with post control at 90 because i wanted to get I wanted to get um, back down Punisher. And then also too, you can be able to fade with this build. So you're gonna be able to post fade. You're gonna be able to do things with this build that a lot of people can't do like dream shake, drop stepper. You get contact dunks on silver, limitless takeoff on silver. You'll be able to do a lot of things with this build that a lot of people are not gonna be able to do with their builds. And it's just a good combination. Like back down Punisher with fading with this guy is nuts, all right? So you're gonna be able to get all that and plus more, all right, with this build. Now, mid-range, we're going with 80. Three-point, we're going at 75. Free throw, we're going at 80, okay? And like I said, don't get alarmed because it's a 75 three-pointer. You can hit consistently with a 75 three-pointer. But Michael Jordan was just a better mid-range shooter than a three-point shooter. So we went at 80 um, three-point or mid-range, and you're going to be able to hit with this guy, and you get 18 shooting badges, let alone get 16 finishing. But pass the accuracy, we went with 76. Ball handling, we went with 88. And ball speed, we went 80. What I like about this build is, is that you just, you get the things that you want, like hyper drive, combo, killer combo, you get clamp breaker, quick first step, you know what I mean? You got vice grip, you got unpluckable, you got ankle breaker, you got the things that you need to be game breaking with this build. And this build is just an incredible build, like seriously. Interior, 32. I went with an 86 perimeter, a 90 steel, okay? And this is the reason why I went with that. Okay, first of all, you get brick wall with this guy. Brick wall is a great bash that drains your energy when you play defense. You get clamps on silver, challenger on gold, pit dodger on gold, menace on gold, interceptor on gold, and glove on gold. And of course, workhorse and ankle bracer on Hall of Fame crazy build that you can get now don't forget you get a plus four to your badges or a plus eight if you're on current gen this is current gen so you're going to get a plus eight if you're on next gen you're going to get a plus four with this build now i went with um a 34 block uh, 50 offense rebound defense rebound, defense rebound rebound went with a 70 reason why i went with a 70 instead of a 50 because i'd rather higher have a higher defense rebound than a lower than a high offense rebound just because i'm gonna play with the center but when he shoot i want to be able to grab that board now you know 2k lab showed us a 71 speed speed really does not matter in this game this year what really matters is we're gonna go with the acceleration of 86 that's the speed boosting that you're gonna get that really matters this year so at 86 acceleration is a really good acceleration get a plus four to these when you do your gatorade workout it's definitely worth it we're gonna go with a 69 strength that's the reason why we was able to get brick wall on bronze because we got a 69 strength vertical we're gonna go 80 stamina we're gonna go 92 okay and these are the takeovers we're gonna go because it's michael jordan michael jordan was definitely a slasher and he was a lockdown defender too we're gonna go with the lock take and the slash and take as well and this is the build that you get with this all right 
A two-way mid-range Curator is a really, really good build. Solid build. I'm telling you, man, you're going to want to make this build. Now I'm going to show you the badges of what I will put on, the best badges with this build of what I will put on with, with the Michael Jordan build. So easily, okay? I'm going limitless takeoff, slithery finisher on silver, okay? I'm also going with posterizer. I'm also going with back down punisher, all right? And then let's see i'm gonna try to go giant slayer but um if i put four i would probably put four more in my slashing so i can get giant slayer but this is really really good um because giant slayer work i'm going with fearless um finisher too and like i said i'm going to be able to pack down people and just fade on them it's going to be crazy all right so it just depends if you shoot with a shot me you can use pro touch or whatever but this is a really good setup right here and then if you want to add more to this with your badges you get on current gen and next gen you can too as well now with shooting i'm going with agent three because i'm a fader you know what i mean i'm going with green machine I'm going with um, volume shooter, of course. All right. And then I'm probably going to go with uh, mid MIDI magician. Um, and then I'm going to go with um, limitless range, of course. I'm going to go with amp. Amp is very important. Okay. And if you're not a fader, you can do this. You can take these badges off. I'm just showing you what I would go with. And you can put um, space creator on silver. And then also, too, if you want to do this on bronze, you can. Bronze, that's good, too, as well. So you can do that well, too. This is a good bass setup to, you know, give you bonuses to be able to hit with your 75 three-pointer. Now, if I got playmaking, okay, I'm going with clamp breaker off the rip, hyper drive handles for days and killer combos all right and then oh no 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 we're gonna take off killer combos we're going with quick first step all right and then i'm going with vice grips on silver of course and then i'll probably go with killer combos on bronze now this is totally up to you or how you adjust this okay the reason why i go vice grip because i feel like vice grips were better than unpluckable does um, but it's up to you how you want to do this because like I said your extra badges you get you get a plus four or you get eight You're gonna be able to put them in your playmaking finishing I'll probably put them in my playmaking so I can have a little more extra badges so I can have combo dribbles and You know different things like that. But like I said, this is Michael Jordan right here So definitely you're gonna play as he will play Michael Jordan wasn't like a combo dribbler John Michael Jordan was like a hyper drive type of goal where he makes a one quick move he goes or he cross over he goes he never was a person that hold the ball and just dribble over consistently he was very smart on how he used the ball and how he um judged his opponent and how his opponent guarded him so it's just totally up to you of how you would use this um in playmaking wise i'll probably go with something like this and if you're uncomfortable without um having vice grips and i recommend you put vice grips on silver but some people just uncomfortable you can do this but i recommend you to have that thing on silver because it just works better for me if you can put it on gold put it on gold you know what i mean so it's just totally up to you how you want to use this and um, structure your build now with defense wise i'm going with challenger on gold of course clamps on silver um i'm also going glove on silver i'm also going brick wall okay i'm also going to go with menace of course menace really helps now if you can put it on higher put it on higher but um it just depends on how you structure your badges you know that's all it depends i'm going with interceptor on silver and then also too i'm probably going with um with ankle bracelet on bronze now you can do this as well too you can take this down to silver okay and um if you want to put this up higher you can put that up higher if you're uncomfortable with that and you want to put war course you can put war course and silver it just depends on how you structure your badges and how you want your player to play is that's how he's going to play all right so look that's it for today thank y'all so much for the love i hopefully y'all enjoyed this video like i said man this video is definitely is a good michael jordan build you're definitely going to dominate the part there's so much potential in this build and i'm telling you man this build is going to have you have fun in nba 2k23 so make sure you like up and subscribe and click on one of these videos i appreciate y'all thank y'all so much king out let's go